Thank you very much, Randy. And we'll go right to the phone calls. First up is Craig listening in Kansas City, Missouri. Hi, Craig. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, my question is my 24-year-old daughter is a Christian but struggling a little bit with her faith. And one of the questions she gave me and to, to think about, and I don't want to give her a pat answer, so I want to get a little more insight. But she said, what if I wasn't born in a Christian family or I was born in the Middle East? How would I know that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven that separates me from heaven and hell? And how's that fair? Is that not, not like a parent lottery? You're just lucky wherever you're born. And I'm not quite sure how to answer her. Well, I think, and I've pointed this out from time to time, one of the best ways is to take her to Acts, where Paul is at the Areopagus in Athens. And while he's there, He points to an unknown God and says, let me use that as an illustration of the God who created the heavens and the earth. And then he says, from one man, God made every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth. He determined the exact times and places that they should live. And he did that so that men might reach out for him and find him, though he's not far from each one of us. Which is to say, no matter where we are born, we have the light of creation. So, Men are without excuse. Why? Because God's eternal power, divine nature are understood through what has been made. So the heavens declaring the glory of God are available to all people everywhere. That's not a parochial or provincial kind of an idea. It is a universal idea. Everyone universally has access to the light of creation. But there's something more, and that is God has always written a knowledge of himself, as it were, in the DNA of human beings. So people have the knowledge internally just as they have the knowledge externally. The point being, then, is that if you seek after light, you will receive light. And therefore, I have often said it is not the absence of knowledge that damns. It is the despising of knowledge that damns. Now, I didn't pick that out of thin air. That really is a maxim that comes from Christ, who's talking to Nicodemus. He said, light came into darkness. Men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So the problem is never that there's not enough light somewhere on the planet. The problem is that people despise the light and therefore remain in darkness. The other thing that I would say, though, in more of a general sense is we can leave every single person in the hands of an infinitely just and infinitely merciful God. So at the end of the day, what we do is we trust God to be perfectly just and perfectly merciful and loving for all people everywhere at all times. 